as you wish. And welcome back one and all. We are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity, the Triple Crown Run. Where we left off last time, we were exploring the Temple Found of it. Andra, the incredibly dangerous and deadly Temple of Andra. And we leveled up, apparently. Let's take a quick peek at what we're going to do. Nothing there. Um, Sundering Blow is pretty good. So is Charge. We're going to grab Charge, I think. Just to get a little extra mobility out of our warrior. Uh, and let's just go take a look. At what's going to be something over here. going on in the next couple of rooms. So, yes. cleric back. Cleric over there somewhere. Tank. This is a... I hate this kind of a door. Doors facing in this direction are the worst. And you are not supposed I'm to be here. scouting. Let's go take a quick peek. What do we got? We have a sworn sword. Linked up to no crap. This is gonna be shitty. All right, we have at least a sworn sword coming in. Maybe they won't notice and they'll just leave the door closed. Right? Yeah. Well. Did they actually not know how to open doors? <laughs> that would be oh shit. Apparently not. Apparently they're just fine wandering around the entire keep instead. Also, they are super fast. Like, he got around really quick. How did he get there? I guess it wasn't that far of a distance, but still kind of impressive. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog howling, mm -hmm. but he's still howling. It's been like uh -huh. half an hour. He'll eventually learn not to howl, because that is not, a not an acceptable means of communication or getting attention. I don't want to teach him that that is okay. Uh, more enemies on that side as well. Death take you. Did you sworn enemy me? That's just not cool. Okay, Gale Singers are fine. The only thing that's not okay is uh, tied for title fists. Yeah, the monks, whatever they're called. Fighting them is grounds for like using every ability you possibly can to kill them as fast as humanly possible because they are just not fun to fight. They're very angry people. They actually make me sort of rethink making a monk because title fists. I don't know what it is about them. But they are just unstoppable killing machines. They are so, so good at it. Uh, we're actually going oh. to spread out for this upcoming fight. Just I do remember word. this part because this part was super annoying. Hey there. But good God, I wonder. Sure. Like, I don't know what is up with oh. my dog today. In all honesty, he I'm is here. just being so whiny. We're not going to bother talking to the abbot, which is actually the room we're in. Kauto's right there. I only remember this place because we did it relatively recently. So I'm going to shoot that guy and then just run. Stand You've made a grave mistake. Run. Oh great, we have a monk with us. You've Ill. made a grave mistake. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop. You keep stopping my freaking character every time you talk to her, you Get moron. You freaking eh. Okay, uh, we're gonna kill the Tidal Fist first. And we actually are in kind of a little bit of trouble. I need her out of melee. Come on, get past. Uh, really quick. Leave this. Okay. We need our archer back. And you guys fight that guy. Okay. Now. 
we're having a little bit of trouble with our mage. Mostly that he's getting killed. So let's try and gaze of Adragon. It's not likely he's going to get a spell off. It is a greater chance he's just going to get killed and free, like constantly disrupted. Mm. But well, that's not good. well, he just died anyways. So bright side, we can get him back to life now. Move him out of range, and we're going to start casting some spells. So we could make a second copy of us. But nah. Um, she's badly injured, he's barely injured. Where are you? What are you doing? Oh, are you still on the ground? He's weakened. Okay, everybody on Kaujo now. Oh, he made his stupid several forms, which is worse. So much worse. Uh, you. Hi, Abbot. That brings in the question of which one do I smack around. The answer is almost always the main guy. Almost. That's how it's done. No! Uh, <coughs> excuse me, random cough. That was unfortunate. Let's uh, do a blessing. Wow, he almost died in a single go. Oh, well. Oh, he got reflected. He reflected his own spell back at him. That sucks. But it happens. Not a huge thing. We can quite easily heal him up, but do we want to? His health is really low. Let's just leave that as it is. Um, Crowns of the Faithful. My wolf is 100% dead. But oh well. Okay, Hybit. There's the Hyabit, but I should say is almost dead. Where are you? What are you doing out here? Fight something, I don't care what. We've lost our archer as well. We can get her... No, we can't. We are actually out of resurrections. So, let's get some more tentacles. Sure wish I could duplicate all of my characters in a fight. Alright. Should be pretty easy to kill the last one now. Whew. We're gonna need to rest after that. That was pretty rough, well. but we got it. Killed him. Robes of the Tidebringer are moderately good. Uh, plus four DR. Defense against Charmed. Martyr on Unconscious. Deflection, spell defense bonus, and just some other random stuff. Let's rest here. Of course. Because ow. Uh, we are going to pull back to this room too, so... I'm here. You. Do another better pull. I'm going to have to go see what's up with my dog after this video, I think. He just won't stop whining, which is baffling because he's had food. He's been out for a huge walk, during which he actually laid down and wouldn't move anymore, so I had to cart him back. Um, now he's just being whiny. Like, super whiny. Stand to get now. Where did he go? Hey. Guys. Don't not come. Oh shit, there's two Tidebringers coming. Okay. Let's get some friends. You get yes. here as fast as humanly possible. They stopped coming. Hey. Jerks. Let's go. Don't have all day. Gonna need to heal though. <laughs> Shoot him. I don't care if he comes alone. In fact, I'd prefer it if he comes alone. Yes. I'd be. Alright. 
We'll take them down one by one. I'm okay with that. Let us regen a little bit, and then we'll go do the next one, and then the next one, and so on until they're all dead. If that's the way they want to do it, I am perfectly okay with it. The Gale Singer is the most annoying one because she's got a crossbow. That's for my friend. Oh, and so does she, Mind Gazer. I don't know what actually bounced off of who there, but that's okay. That was kind of weird. Yes. Everybody shoots that guy, and everybody gets healed. I can do things like that too, you know. Healing. Shoot that mind gazer. Good. Uh, we have a faith binder and a sworn sword. Let's kill the faith binder. Of the things, I think the faith binder will go down the fastest, and getting it out of the fight is just ideal. This is an encounter power. I told you it does. <laughs> Not that that was particularly useful, it just looked cool. Charging in, beating him up. Now neither of the, neither or however many tied fists there are me. left have come yet. So let's kind of take a peek and see how many are left. There's one Gale Singer and two Tidal Fists, yeah. The Tidal Fists are the primary enemy. They are grand yes. enemy number one. So let's see if we can get the uh, Gale Singer out here. Alone. Ow. Or even one of the title. Don't care. Someone's gotta come though. That's how it's done. Oh, they're coming. Okay. Well, we tried. Need some tentacles. Like right there. What the hell? How did you instant cast those? And why would you cast them there? That was not the ideal placement, but okay. Well, it might be. They might actually jump in at us. There we go, actually. You know what? Good tentacle placement. You were thinking ahead. I like your foresight. Tentacles. I'm not really sure how he got them out so fast the first time. Can you do that again? Because that's awesome. That was not so good. One down. And finally. Take down the Gale Singer. You can probably get out of range. Cool. All right, big room cleared out. That was actually one of the. That was actually the boss fight for this particular zone. Although there is another tougher fight later on, if we're not careful. In the meantime, let's go uh, loot our spoils. As you may recall, we did actually get a key off of the boss. Actually, there's two keys. This is the High Abbot's key. We also got some key to some other thing, which was the... What kind of key was it, guys? It was the Wave Crested key. The Wave Crested key. I'm here. I'm not sure if there's any enemies over here. We should probably check. It's super important so that we don't end up with a sudden case of the deads. Well, well it's pretty safe so I'm far. Here. Yeah, okay, we're clear. Well, 
Yes. Anybody in here? What is it? No. I'm here. All right. It would appear to be a relatively safe room for once. That's kind of rare. Yeah. There's a chest and something else and something else. Let's do a quick sweep for Found trap. It. There is a trap. I cannot disarm it. Do I wish to use it? it? Not yet. Who knows how dangerous this thing is? Yeah, do it. Oh. There are worse spells. Firestorm's kind of not the worst. Or Holy Storm or whatever it's called. Storm of Holy Fire, I think. Actually, it says it right there. Storm of Holy Fire. Mm -hmm. Not the worst thing it could have been. Alright, let's loot this thing. We have potions. We have a diary, which says... This volume appears to serve many functions. There are notes in it detailing schedules and routines at the Abbey. There are favorite passages from Andrite texts annotated with personal insights. There are also descriptions of dreams. Many seem purely symbolic, but one entry is of interest. It had been long since I dreamt of my rising, yet now with another rising soon upon us. This is the fifth time in a week. Perhaps channeled here, I can put it to rest. I am walking through the halls of silence. I feel eyes on me from all sides, angry, vengeful eyes. I arrange the panels and curl my hands into the sign of the tide, the right as the wave the left tracing the crescent moon with my two outer fingers, the way opens to me. I climb the steps and Andra's witness is installed there, the old aspergillum set to operate the valves. I use it like a lever and the water rises. There are angry shouts and when I cover my ears they are louder still, but the water continues upwards far past where it should. I climb as high as I can but I feel it, icy on my feet. Then it is over my head and I cannot breathe. Suddenly I am outside of the reliquary looking at the veil of tears. The witness is in my hand and the veil parts for it. I step through only to place it in the air to the only place in the abbey I feel protected. Only when I pass inside I come out in total darkness. I call for help. I'm shouting, screaming for help. There's no answer. I stop. I sit there in the dark waiting for what seems like ages, then I realize I don't know who I am. Bum bum bum. That actually would suck. I'd be kinda sketchy. So that was the main thing. We found the Journal of the High Abbot. Um, in all reality, the rest of this upper floor is incredibly dangerous and serves no real purpose for us. Um, we have what we need. And tide fists and, or sorry, tidal fists and all of the other baddies we've fought so far. There's really no need to to fight them. Here's soul. Is there a soul there that I can't do because the door is in my way? Oh, there we go. The High Abbot's soul remains close to his body. It radiates a warmth only you can feel. Let's reach for it. You project your essence outward, and when it makes contact, you feel yourself suddenly plummeting through the moments and sensations of another life. You see beneath you, in a memory glowing brightly, and as you pass it, or as you pass it, you latch on and pull yourself inside. You walk briskly through the hallway, flanked by small gated rooms. It has the feel of a prison, but the architecture is consistent with the abbey. Your heart races. You pause at an array of panels, too blurry to read. You rearrange them, and a hidden tile slides back in the wall. In that spot you make a strange sign with your hands and the way opens for you. You ascend a flight of steps and take hold of a rod shaped object attached to a metal device, mechanical device, and push down on it. You hear the sound of water in the distance. You are falling through the memories again but come to a sudden sharp landing outside an enclosure that overlooks the facade of the abbey. Water flows in an archway like a waterfall without a source. You look in your hand and the relic you took from the device is there. You extend it outwards and the water seems to be repelled by it, creating space for you to enter. As you step through, the doorway leads out of memory entirely. You withdraw in the same direction you came from, flying upwards and out of the High Abbot's soul. Cool. Why are you not part of this group? Everybody comes here.
Alright. So we're going to go finish up this temple. Yes. With as few fights as possible. The only reason is fights in this place can go really badly really fast if you're not careful. And even if you are, the positioning of the monks, the title fists, their ability to uh, charge past your front line into your back line, no matter how good your positioning is, is extremely dangerous and frustrating. It's really, really hard to keep your back line alive in those fights. And there's no reason for us to do them, in all honesty. We can continue on Silence from here without surrounds. having to do that. And that is what I plan to do. So, we're going to move on. We're actually at 21 minutes. And I kind of want to go see what's wrong with my dog. He keeps howling and I think I'm going to call it here. This is going to be just a slightly shorter video than normal. In the next video, we will continue into the next area and into the, further into the temple, I should say. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.